So we bought some land and we're going to walk around it. Come in, we've got a courtyard here. Um, with this being the main house. Then there's a second house which is currently unregistered, which we're in the process of figuring out how to uh, register. <laughs> a number of sheds. Got the tin house that's definitely going to blow over with any sort of breeze. Stone house, which looks pretty solid. The most solid out of the tree. And the brick house, which is currently being taken over by the tree. So maybe the tree won on this one. <laughs> the tree that's, already won. That's definitely a mission for another day. <laughs> so this is inside the main house, which is lovely and fresh because it's got these super thick walls. So we've got a nice like room here, I guess this used to be the living room. And then we go into a bedroom here. Open the windows here. It's got a little bit of mould, because uh, this is the north side of the house. There's more mould in the other room, but we'll uh, get across that bridge when we come to it. This is what used to be the old kitchen. Again, open this up. It's actually quite spacious, I thought. In my mind it was smaller. Yeah. But it is a good, a good space. It's probably just as big as the room. Maybe it's small. Yeah, true. And we've got over here the bathroom. Without any uh, functioning appliances, which is okay, we don't have water anyway, or electricity. And then this is the other bedroom, which is, yeah, I've got a big mold problem. Um, I mean, it's as mold goes, the walls aren't super black. Yeah, I guess it's not really mold, it's just like that the wall is crumbling from the moisture, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so we'll have to figure out how to address that. Yeah. So then there's this kind of missing room if this whole house is a is a, is a rectangle. It's so heavy. <laughs> yeah. So what we think happened is that it used to be like a a like a rectangle. Yeah, these things. That room, this room, and that room. Because the all these walls are super thick. But then as soon as you cross through here, that wall is really thin. And the wall in that bedroom is thin as well, like on that side. So I think maybe they added this on, including the adega, which is like a wine processing room, which is like hidden behind this corner. So what we want to do is like break through into there somehow, either through here or through here, I don't know, uh, whatever we can feasibly do uh, to make use of that space as well. So continue the tour. Stuck in your pants in. <laughs> Sorry, I've got something that <laughs> fell through my bed. <laughs> <laughs> so this weekend we've been clearing this space. This is like the kind of outside area, porch <laughs> area. And it used to just be completely overgrown. It used to look like this stuff over here. And uh, we've uncovered dirt has just taken over and like plants has been like rooting on here. But we uh, cleared that up over this weekend, which was a mission, but it's, it's looking pretty good. Um, there's this, this annex, which is what we've been using as our kind of temporary living space over the weekend. We bought these chairs, which were the best purchase ever, because when you don't have something to sit on, it's very upsetting. Uh, so we put up the hammock, we slept in the tent last night, uh, and this is a little home base thing. Again, like another kitchen here. Um, this is the unregistered building, so we yeah, as I said, we're looking to register this place and maybe turn this into like a guest house or something. Um, it's also got like a, an attic, uh, so maybe we can break through to the ceiling. Because these beams have got a lot of bug damage to them. Uh, so mm, we'll need to address that as well. <laughs> Look at the view over there. Yeah. 
So this is the view over sort of this corner of the land. These are these are like fruit trees. There's a there's a plum tree and a lemon tree and another plum here. Those two are um, Nespres. Yeah. Uh, there's a grape here and there's some more grapes along the wall here. Um, so we're in the process of clearing this all up because obviously it's very overgrown. But uh, but yeah, super exciting. And those those trees in the back there are also like um, our trees, so they're cork trees there. The road, the public road runs along this wall and straight down that way basically. Yeah. Nice. Exciting. Animals used to be in there, as you can tell. Super day and uh, it'll take a lot of work to clean. You can see the roof up there as well, so we'll see, maybe we'll uh, we'll turn this into like a livable space as well and put some doors into the other side of the thing. That's a discussion for a, an architect to have. This is the wine processing room. This is where we're keeping our tools currently. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty cool space. There's this huge, like, wine, old wine press, which is like massive. Uh, everyone keeps telling us we should make it into a hot tub, which is tempting, but things are pretty hot here already. Yeah. <laughs> um, anything a cool tub? Anything a cool tub, yeah. Plunge pool. Um, and then all this like old wine stuff, which is cool. And then some beautiful barrels, old school way, I guess. Some more bottles. And then we'll look upstairs. So up here is also like a really nice space. You can stand up pretty comfortably uh, where I am now, in the center. And there's obviously lots of junk, but um, yeah, we're thinking to turn this into some livable space as well, maybe like a study over here and like maybe you can put a bedroom here potentially and then uh, and down here we were thinking if we manage to break through to the rest of the house this can be like a kind of kitchen dining room area with like a double height ceiling which would be really nice this is all for like reference to a few years down the line when we look back at this video and think how naive we were And yeah, that's uh, that's the houses. So then here's a, this is like a well or a borehole. It's like very thin. Like this this stone here comes out of the ground. So that's only how that's how wide it is. It's basically like a, a foot in diameter. We need to get that working because it's got a pump. So we're not sure how that works. We haven't got electricity anyway. So yep, lots of hurdles. And then basically the perimeter of the land. We've got these cork trees over there. And then there's a there's a bunch more forest in that direction. Keeps going over there. And then there's a there's a road here just by the just by the electricity pylon uh, that comes down. And that's like the edge of the land as well. It's about six thousand no eight thousand square meters um, of land, which is quite a lot. But uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do with it. We're thinking about growing a bunch of trees and. See on that, seeing how that goes. But yeah, that was the tour. <laughs>